welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Kia for those who are new and as you guys can tell by the title today's video is going to be a little chit chat get ready with me so I already took a shower brush my teeth put my contacts in you know all that good stuff and now I'm about to do my makeup because I have to go to work I've literally worked every single day this week every single day I have worked <laughs> and I'm trying not to complain because I did pray for multiple sources of income and I'm very blessed when it comes to that so I'm gonna just leave that at that um, I'm about to start by putting powder on my face because I'm an oily girl so I'm gonna be using this airspun translucent powder it's the extra coverage one And I'm gonna just put it on my oily spots, which is my forehead, very, very oily, and then like my cheeks. So I wanna start by asking you guys how you're doing. So how are you mentally, physically, emotionally, all that good stuff? If you care to share, definitely leave it in the comments and I will respond, I promise. And Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys are very abundant. I hope you guys are making lots of money. I hope you're happy, like healthy, all that good stuff. I don't know why I'm putting it on my nose because my nose was so flaky this morning, but it's already there. It's already done. So for a foundation, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm the shade Coconut and it's the number 355. And I'm gonna apply it using a brush. So yeah, while I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna just chit chat with you guys. And this brush is dirty, but what's new? What's new? And I'm gonna blend this out with a sponge. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my AC. I swear my AC doesn't wanna turn on until I start recording. And that's extremely annoying. But anywho, as for me, I kind of feel like I'm all over the place. And I feel like I always try to like fake it until I make it. I remember when I was in college, I had this professor and she was like, fake it until you become it. And I was kind of living off that, like very much living off that and thinking like, okay, yeah, if I just like, you know, pretend and I pretend that I'm okay, I'll be okay. And not to say that I'm not okay. Like I'm not sitting here complaining because I'm very blessed. Like I don't have a horrible life. Like. I'm not out here struggling. I have a place to stay. I have, you know, money in my bank account. I have a job, like I have a car. Like I'm, I'm very blessed, very, very blessed. So I'm not saying anything to complain, but when it comes to my mental, I definitely feel like I'm all over the place. And I feel like I'm just not gonna fake it until I make it or fake it until I become it anymore because I've learned that that only hurts me because if everybody thinks that everything is okay with you, I feel like they're more prone to like share what's going on with them. And not to say that I don't I don't like when people share things with me because I do. Like I love when people feel like they can trust me with, you know, whatever's going on in their life or whatever situation they're dealing with. I definitely appreciate that. But on the other hand, when you're faking it until you make it or fake it until you become it, that I feel like that causes other people to feel like, oh yeah, she's not going through anything so she can help me get through this and yada, yada, yada. And not to say that I don't want to help other people get through stuff because I definitely do. Like, I love helping people get through whatever they're going through, but it's a little bit harder when I'm dealing with my own shit. You know what I mean? Anywho, so for concealer, I'm using this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I am the shade Deep Olive. I have like four of these things and one isn't open but I'm not trying to open it until I finish these ones off but yeah so anywho like I said this is my the week that I'm moving out of my apartment I wasn't able to find an apartment in time at least not one that was ready so I did find a couple of apartments but I don't know I don't want to just live anywhere just because I'm like trying to move like I'm not I'm oversettling when it comes to everything in my life I'm so oversettling I don't want to do it anymore so I did find this one apartment that I liked, but the unit that I want isn't gonna be available until mid-July, like honestly closer to August. So I'm just gonna stay with one of my friends out here until that apartment is ready. But if I'm being perfectly honest, I feel like all this is happening because I'm not meant to be in Houston anymore. And I know I've only been here for 16 months at this point, but I really feel like I don't want to be here anymore like I don't want to be in Houston anymore and it's crazy because I was talking to this girl who is also a psychic and she was like you know maybe it's not Houston 
maybe it's the energies that you've allowed into your life and I'm, she's right she's definitely right but I've already allowed those energies into my life like I'm already here at this point so it's like like maybe had she said that to me before I could move different so I really don't think I'm gonna stay in Houston I feel like maybe that's why it was hard for me to find an apartment too because like I don't think I'm supposed to be here anymore and my end goal has always been Cali always been Cali like even when me and my ex first moved here or before we even thought about moving here I let him know like I'm speaking for myself when I say that I belong in Cali one way or another I'm gonna get there um but Houston was just like a little I don't want to say a bump in the road but that's what it is now but it was just like a little stepping stone in the journey and I did say that you know if I fell in love with Houston that I would end up staying here but I feel like God does everything for a reason and I definitely don't love it here so I don't see myself staying here but I don't know if I want to move completely out of Texas just yet because like I said I've only been here for 16 months but since I've been here I haven't visited any other places in Texas like I've only been in Houston and I've been in like surrounding areas of Houston which in my eyes is still kind of Houston so a part of me wants to like go visit Dallas Austin and like maybe San Antonio and see the vibes there and see if like maybe maybe I'll have like a little light bulb moment at one of those places I don't know I know that I don't want to just up and move to Cali right now because I feel like all the baggage that I have here I feel like if I move to Cali I'm gonna be taking that with me and I for me I want that to be my home so I don't want to bring any negativity there like whenever I move there I want to be in like a great place and like a great place mentally so I know I'm not gonna move to Cali I don't want to say I know because at this point in my life I don't know what the fuck is going on I really don't know but it's not in my mind like that's not a thought right now for me to up and move to Cali but definitely maybe a different area in Texas and then to contour I'm using this Fenty stick I'm using espresso that's my shade um i feel like the main reason for me wanting to move is because i feel like i don't like the person that i am becoming it's hard to explain but i'm gonna try to explain it so don't take this wrong it's not like i hate myself or like i'm insecure or whatever the case may be i just don't like this person that i feel like i'm becoming it kind of reminds me of back like when i was in high school so when i was in high school i used to isolate myself a lot because I didn't know how to deal with the feelings and emotions that I was having. And a lot of people would take it as me having an attitude. And it was never me having an attitude. I just didn't. I didn't know how else to cope with, like, the thoughts that I was having. And now at 25, I'm kind of experiencing that same thing. Which kind of sucks because I thought, like, after I went through that, I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I got through this. So now I don't have anything to worry about. But that wasn't the case. And I found myself as of late like really isolating myself and like not responding to people not picking up my phone and like I said it's not because I have an attitude it's just like I feel like when stuff be happening like when certain things be happening I don't know how to handle it like minor inconveniences I can deal with that I can I can deal with that I can find solutions I can do whatever but with the type of inconveniences that I've been experiencing I'm like I really don't know how to I don't know how to maneuver all i really know how to do is isolate myself and that's what i've been doing so my phone has been on do not disturb a lot i don't respond to people and it's not like i said it's not because i'm trying to be a bitch it's not because i have an attitude or anything like that i'm just trying to like figure out what's going on the best way to handle it and and if i'm being honest i don't even feel like i'm trying to figure it out i feel like i'm more so kind of like avoiding it but at least i'm acknowledging that i'm avoiding it like <laughs> I don't know I am not perfect I am not God I don't know all I don't know the answers to everything and that just kind of is what it is um to set my face I'm going to be using this Morphe powder this is the banana rich powder but yeah back to me saying how I don't feel like I like the woman that I'm becoming so me isolating myself I really don't I don't like it but and I know it's something it's all within me and I know that I I'm the only person who can change that but at the moment it's not really something that I feel like I can change. 
Um, I've also picked up other bad habits like smoking this vape. Oh my God. I'm like a crackhead when it comes to this. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm looking for my vape. Like, but when I go to sleep, it has to be next to me. It's sick. I will say that I'm not drinking as much as I was before. Like when I got my first bottle job, bottle girl job at a door, I was drinking like fish, like drinking, drinking. Now I only drink socially, like when I'm out with my friends. But even then I be drinking like, I've seen this, I don't know if it was on TikTok or Twitter, but I've seen some kind of post somewhere and it was like, y'all don't even be drinking for fun no more. Y'all be drinking to die. And low key, <laughs> like I'm being dramatic. I'm not drinking to die, but I'm, I just be drinking a lot. So I picked up like those bad habits and like my ways of coping, I don't like them, but, and it's like, I know I don't like them, but trying to change them, it's hard. Like it's really hard to explain. And I don't know. Like, I feel like when I left Virginia, I was in a better place. Like, not in my relationship. Well, I guess in my relationship. Like, we were cool then. But in my mind, if I'm being perfectly honest, I had already knew. I was like, oh, no, this is definitely not the one for me. Like, mentally, I was fine. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I can maneuver. Oh, and yeah, another thing. I, when I say isolate myself, like, literally, like, it's not even just to the point where it's do not disturb. Because I have my phone on do not disturb, and obviously I can still see the messages that I receive. So, like, I'll respond to some, but I've gotten into this terrible habit of just, like, I'll send one thing, and then you won't hear from me until you hear from me. And I, I hate that, because, like, it's rude. It's so rude, and I know it's rude, but I also know, like, where my head is at, and I'm like, okay, like, I be trying to think to myself, like, if I'm responding to this, like, is it going to be beneficial for them? Is it going to be beneficial for me? Because sometimes when people send me stuff, I be feeling like it's, like, dumb shit. And I be like, oh, like, like, the only response I can think of is, like, a smart-ass response. So in that case, I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to respond. But sometimes it'll be people and it's not even nothing bad. And I just, for some reason, I just can't respond. I can respond, but I can't. Like, do you ever get what I mean? Like, can anybody relate to me? Like... <laughs> But anywho, I feel like because I've been working every day for like the past, I don't even know at this point, I feel like I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed and that's probably like what's happening. And this weekend I was actually supposed to go out of town. I was supposed to go to Cali with a few of my friends. And then you know how trips be working. So some people were having issues like financially. For me, I was just more so like, okay, as soon as people started, you know, bringing up finances, I was just like, okay, well, you know, I don't, I'm not really tripping on that part or on that aspect of it, but I am supposed to be moving out of my apartment or I am moving out of my apartment. So as soon as they started doing that, I'm just like, all right, bet. like, let me just put my focus into moving out. But I haven't even been able to like really put my focus into that because I've been working so much. Like it's at the point now where I know for a fact I have to get movers because there's just no way like I don't have time to do anything it feels like and don't get me wrong I still try to make time for things like when my friends have events like I still show up I still I might show up late but I'm gonna show up you know but I just feel like I'm in such a weird headspace and I'm just trying to keep the faith because you know anytime that God has put me through a test or or anytime I don't want to say that anytime that I've been put through a test God ends up blessing me like more than I could have expected so at this point, I'm just kind of playing the waiting game. So me isolating myself, I guess that's a part of me playing the waiting game of like, okay, when is, when are things going to start making sense again? Like when are things going to start to get better? I feel like I'm just kind of all over the place, but honestly, that's what's happening in my head right now. I'm just all over the place, but I'm still trying to, you know, be consistent. I'm still trying to be consistent on YouTube, on whatever social media platforms. Um, I definitely want to change up my aesthetic when it comes to like social media because before I was just posting stuff like whatever like this is I look cute in this picture so I'm gonna post it but I feel like I'm at a stage now where I definitely want to like actually like not necessarily professional photos but I want to go to actual locations and take pictures like have an outfit that's planned out have it on and you know do that I feel like it's so much that I want to do I'm using this Sephora powder this is the micro smooth powder and I am the shade mahogany well I'm gonna just brush off the powder that I had on before the translucent powder and then on top of it, I'm going to put the Micro Smooth Powder. But yeah, so I'm moving right now and I'm moving a lot of stuff. So I haven't really had time to do anything that I want to do. And I feel like that's probably also playing into why my head is all over the place. Because I'm like, oh, I should be doing this. I should be doing that. I should be doing this. 
when in all reality all i really can do right now is work and pack and don't get me wrong like i know i'm trying to like i'm trying to take it easy on myself because i get it i'm not super woman i'm just a human but Um, and for my brows, I'm going to be using this espresso pencil. It's by NYX. I'm going to just do my brows real quick because doing my brows and talking is just not a vibe. Like, Okay, so my brows are done. They actually look kind of cute today. I'm fucking with my brows. Um, but I want to sum up what I said real quick because I don't know if it was making sense. Like, I feel like I was just saying a whole lot. And I don't know if it's going to be interpreted in the way that I want it or that I mean for it to be interpreted. So for the most part, I am definitely in a weird headspace right now. And... I just want to be very transparent with everybody because I feel like faking it until I make it is only hurting me. And I feel like we live in a day and age where a lot of people, all they want to show is the good. And not to say that I, all I want to show is the bad or I just want to show negative things because that's not the case at all. But I don't want to just keep showing like, oh, this is great. This is positive. This is this. Because that's not real life. At least that's not my real life. So I want to give you guys the real. Um, but I'm going to set my face real quick using this um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush spray, whatever. I mentioned this setting spray in another video. It's not transfer proof. I'm not going to lie to you. It My makeup still transfers when I put this on. Like maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know. But it still transfers. But I'm going to put it on anyways because I already bought this bitch. But you know what? I'm really thinking about just taking a solo trip this weekend because I do have this weekend off. I didn't book any clients purposely. I didn't book any sessions purposely. I feel like I just need to like regroup and I feel like I can't do that here. I'm about to put some blush on my cheeks. I'm still using the same blush that I was using years ago. It still works, it's amazing. It's the NYX blush and this is Double Dare. I love orange blush on black skin or brown skin. I think it's so beautiful, like love it. But I really don't know where I'm, I want to go this weekend. Like, I definitely want to, I definitely feel like I want to go somewhere this weekend by myself. Um, but I don't know where I want to go. But whenever I figure it out, I think I'm going to just go. I think I'm going to just hop in my car and keep it moving. And for highlight, y'all already know, it looks terrible. I'm not even going to put it in the camera. But it's still the Hustle Baby by Rihanna or Fenty Beauty. I'm still using that. Look at this, y'all is ridiculous but i've had this so long and i just feel like i shouldn't buy another one because if i buy another one i'm not gonna finish this off i know myself like even with my concealers i have i have another one somewhere i have three that are have already been used and i have a brand new one i have a problem um but all in all i feel like one, I made this video because I said that I was going to be more consistent, you know, throughout everything. I was going to bring you guys along with me. Two, I never know who else is, you know, going through similar things as me. And although I'm not like very specific as to what I'm going through, it's obvious that I'm going through something. You know what I mean? So if anybody can like relate, hit me up, let me know. You don't have to put it in the comments you can dm me and if you're telling me what it is i'm gonna respond because i'm not gonna lie I, i've gotten really bad at responding to dms and honestly just responding in general like i don't know why i be feeling like everything and everybody just be irritating me and it's like certain people they don't be doing nothing to me but showing me love but i'm still just like mm, thank you bye <laughs> and i hate that I feel like the worst feeling is knowing that you're doing something that you don't like, but not knowing how to not do it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's the only way I can explain it. <laughs> um, for my lips, I am using Club Popper by NYX, and I'm going to mix Praline and Madeline, or Madeline, however they wanted this to be pronounced, together. I'm gonna put praline on the bottom, Madeline on top of that, and then some beauty supply lip gloss on top because one thing about my lips, they're gonna be extra. As I'm sitting here lining my lips, I'm really thinking like, where am I gonna move to? I definitely don't wanna up and move to California right now. I don't feel like that would be a good decision, like I said before, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm, I'm ready for something new, something different. like. Don't get me wrong, I don't think Houston is a bad place at all. Like, 
there's a lot of things to do here and I have met like a lot of people here so I'll definitely be visiting like whenever I decide to move or wherever I decide to move I know that I'm gonna come back and visit because you know I have so many friends out here um oh yeah this color is so pretty but yeah I don't know exactly where but I feel like that's probably maybe that's what I'll do maybe this weekend I'll visit Dallas Austin or San Antonio just to feel the vibes and see how I feel there I really don't know but if anybody can relate to what I'm going through or not necessarily relate to it but if you've ever experienced the types of feelings I guess that I'm experiencing and you've already gotten through it please let me know how like let me know how whether it's leaving a comment or DMing me help me because I need it. And I also want to say that this whole adulting thing is so ghetto. To have all these thoughts that I be having and all these emotions and feelings and all this other shit, and then to still have to go to work. Like, whose idea was that? Ooh, yeah. Not too much. But yeah. This has been my favorite lip combo lately. Like, it looks so good to me. And now I'm going to set my face with this NYX matte finish. I was going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes, but I'm not going to. But anywho, my time here is up. I really hope, like, when I go back and edit this video, I hope I can make it make sense. Because I, I don't know. I feel like when I be talking, I be thinking, and that's where I be fucking up. But I can't help it. Like... At least not right now. I'm going to just say that I will see you guys in the next video. Because I don't want to say that I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Because I don't feel like this was a very enjoyable video. At least not for me. Um, but it was a very honest video. So I hope you guys appreciate the honesty in this video. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.